y'all. So welcome back to my kitchen. I am the vegan grandma and I'm glad to see you here. Um, today we're going to make a spaghetti sauce, which is absolutely delicious. I usually do spaghetti and chili when I have bought too many vegetables and they're going to go bad if I don't use them. So I'll make up a big pot. I either, we either eat it, I have people over, we entertain, or um, I freeze it. But it is fantastic for those of you with large families. If you just want to put something on the stove, it's a one-pot meal. Well, the spaghetti you cook separately. But it is, again, a fantastic meal. It's nutritious. Now I'm going to show you the ingredients, and we're going to rock and roll this thing okay. together. The ingredients for this spaghetti that I'm going to do, again, these are just, it's just things out of my refrigerator that I really need to use. But first of all, I've got TVP here, about two cups of TVP. This is textured vegetable protein. It's made from soy. It's a fantastic um, meat alternative. And listen, being vegan or vegetarian, but especially vegans, I'm asked constantly, do you get enough protein? Yes, we get more than enough protein. So everything is cool in the protein department. For seasonings, I have two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, which has all of your great herbs. I just buy the, the Italian seasoning already all put together. Um, a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of onion powder, about a half a teaspoon of salt, say a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, and an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper because I just like the, the kick that the cayenne gives it. So I had red and green bell peppers ready to be cooked, broccoli, cauliflower, portobello mushrooms, an onion, carrots, celery. I've got two cans of stewed tomatoes here. Just use your favorite brand, hopefully organic and low sodium. And then my favorite marinara sauce. Um, someday we'll do a, I make a fantastic marinara sauce, but this was just easy and I had it in the cupboard. And then here is my vegetable broth for sauteing the vegetables because again, I'm not using fats because I don't need them. I have plenty of those in my body. So let's get this going. Okay. So the TVP takes on whatever flavor, it's kind of like tofu. When you're cooking with tofu, it takes on whatever flavor that you're adding to it. But with the two cups of TVP, I'm going to add, and I've already boiled, the two cups of water to moisturize these or rehydrate it. So there I'm going to pour the two cups into the TVP. We'll give that a stir in just a minute. But I'm also going to add a few tablespoons of the marinara sauce because, again, it does. It takes takes up the flavor of whatever spices and seasonings and sauces. So I put in four tablespoons of marinara sauce and we're going to stir this up and set it aside. And again, this, this is just gives it the meaty texture in the, in the sauce that we're cooking and just add some flavor, texture, protein. Okay, and I'm gonna set that to the side and just let it hydrate. Now to get these veggies cut up, I'm going to I like onions, so I'm going to use this whole onion. And I'm just going to chop it up, dice it. And I like nice chunks of onion in my sauces, chili and my spaghetti sauce. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the peppers. And I had washed these before I started, so don't fret. And again, I like these pretty chunky because I like to taste the, the peppers. 
And I had bought these a while back, not too long ago, but they were just at the point that they needed to be cooked. And I hate to throw things away. And I bought a lot of peppers. I bought them in bulk at one of the stores that we have here that actually does sell in bulk. I need to start going back. We have a phenomenal um, farmer's market that is open at our botanical gardens here. And lots of fresh protein stands. But, and protein, Lord have mercy. <laughs> protein. Vegetable stands. Protein must be on my mind today. And so I need to get back to going out and shopping. I will vlog one of those experiences so you can see them because it is really cool. And Bermuda is a beautiful place to see. Okay, so let me get these on. All right, so I've heated the pot just a little bit and I am pouring the some vegetable broth in here. Put these onions in and peppers and then I'll get the cauliflower and broccoli. Oh no, I need to do the carrots. Okay, so I'm going to put this, I'm going to take this off the heat for just a moment because I didn't do the carrots and the carrots take a while. So there we've got those in, taking them off the heat. We're going to cut up these carrots because they take long to cook. Good old Bermuda grown carrots. I don't know what it is. I don't know if this is the soil <clears throat> here or what. These are the sweetest carrots and they are so good. I just really enjoy them. Bet you've never seen cooks do that chop quite the way I do because I'm, I'm cutting these up fairly small because I need for them to cook with the other vegetables. But I still when I bite into my food, I want to taste all of my food. So they're big enough to get the taste, the flavor. Okay, I will do this off camera and get them into the pot. So we're back on track now. I have got the vegetable broth, the red and green bell peppers and the onions on. And I'm going to saute these and I'll, we'll add the um, broccoli and cauliflower and then the celery and lastly the mushrooms in in just a few moments. But let's get these going and we're going to saute these probably for about five to seven minutes over medium to medium high heat. I will cut up the broccoli and cauliflower and celery and be back with you in just a moment. Okay, so here is our broccoli and cauliflower chopped up. I've had the other veggies sauteing for probably about, about four minutes now. So I'm going to go ahead and add these to them. But I don't know, do you guys know a pretty way to chop up? cauliflower and broccoli for a spaghetti sauce. If you do, let me know. I'm going to throw these in the pot with the other veggies and give you a look at that. This looks so good. So I added a little bit more vegetable broth because I've said this before in other videos. When you're cooking with vegetable broth as opposed to olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, whichever oil that you're using, um, you have to make sure that your things the the broth doesn't evaporate and your vegetables stick to the pot. That's not good. But this is so pretty, who wouldn't want to eat that? So we're going to let these saute for another, say, five minutes. And they will soften, soften up. The onions are already becoming tenderized. So we're looking good here.
right, I'm gonna add in the celery. And I chopped this up very small because my husband doesn't really like celery, not when it's the predominant flavor in whatever sauce that I'm cooking, but I can get away with adding it when I cook it up in just small bits. So we're gonna stir this up. And then we will add the mushrooms, then the tomatoes, then the sauce, and then the TVP. That's where we are now. So the mushrooms, let's get those mushrooms in here. I don't have very many, like I said, I'm kind of cleaning out my refrigerator, or my frigidary as my granny used to call it. And I'm going to give that a stir and then add the seasonings in. So here's what we're looking at. If you can see that from the steam. Can I have this on medium high? All right. So the Italian seasoning garlic powder, onion powder, salt, cayenne pepper, and regular black pepper. Gosh, it smells so good when the seasonings go in. Um, I have heard people say, well, I can't go vegan because they don't want to give up their meat. But everything is so bland, believe me. Nothing that I eat, nothing that I cook, is ever bland. It is delicious. Why this is going off, okay. So we're just gonna saute, continue to saute these just for a few more minutes. Incorporate all those flavors in, and then we will add our other ingredients. This looks fantastic. So there we are. All right, so our vegetables look fantastic. I'm going to add in the tomatoes. Whatever, these are just regular stewed, canned stewed tomatoes. Um, Bought at the grocery store. Stir that up. I'm gonna add, because I'm making such a large pot, I'm using two jars of my favorite marinara sauce. So there's one. Gum thing. Okay. like spaghetti sauce and now I'm going to add in the TVP. I think I could have gone with less than two cups but this is what I prepared so this is what it's going to be. And then it is right at three o'clock here. This is going to be for dinner tonight so I'm just going to simmer this for hours. Just like you would with a rather uh, a regular sauce. The longer it simmers, the longer you cook it on very, very low heat, all of the flavors will be incorporated. So this is what we're looking at right after we add everything in. And we will come back and check this out after it's cooked for just a little while. 
here we are about 40 minutes in. So there's our sauce. I'm going to start the spaghetti noodles. Smells so good in this house. Smells like spaghetti sauce. Okay, I'm, so I'm adding some, just a little bit of olive oil. And I like to season my noodles with garlic salt. So I know you know how to boil spaghetti, but just to let you know, this is how I do it. I put the olive oil in, put some garlic salt in, and then put my noodles in. And I use whole wheat noodles just because they're better for you and healthier carbs. So there we go. Great oil going on. Whole grain pasta. And remember again, I know I've said it before, if it does not say whole, the word whole, W-H-O-L-E, you're not getting whole anything, whole wheat or whole grain. So read your labels. Make sure that it says 100% whole grain or 100% whole wheat. We're going to let these cook for about 12 minutes. I like mine kind of tender, kind of al dente, in between. I'm making a mess, so I'm going to finish this up. And then we're going to make some, a, like a topping for this, because one thing that I did miss when I first became vegan was cheese, because I'm, I didn't miss the meat at all, didn't miss butter, definitely didn't miss eggs. But I kind of, um, I really did miss cheese, so we'll go over that. But I'll show you how to make your own, not real, Parmesan cheese. All right, while my um, spaghetti noodles are boiling, I'm going to make my topping for my spaghetti, which would be like Parmesan cheese. So I have this little chopper grinder and about a half a cup of cashews and we're going to chop and grind. Ooh, gosh, this is going to be loud. You get the point. I'll show you the results. All right, so I ground flash chopped about a half a cup of cashews, and that gives you your Parmesan cheese-like topping. And this is what the finished product looks like. Hang on just a sec. Goodness, had a little spatula to get this out, but okay, so here we go. And believe it or not, you've got to try this on any of your pasta recipes, your chilies, um, vegan lasagna, which we'll make soon, vegan spaghetti, even chili if you're a cheese fan. Um, chili, this stuff is really, really good. And all it is, again, is ground or chopped up, ground up cashews. And I love it. It is, it's delicious. Coming from a cheese lover. All right, so our spaghetti sauce, our spaghetti noodles, and our cheese-like topping. And in just a few moments, I will plate up some of this deliciousness and we will taste it together and have a short conversation. And that will be it for this video. So here we have the finished product. I have plated it up. It has the whole grain noodles, our sauce that we just fixed, and then our cashew topping. 
So let's give this a taste test. It looks delicious. It smells wonderful. We're going to try hope it that out. This is leveling okay. I am excited about trying out this spaghetti because A, I'm hungry, and B, it just looks so good. So let's give it a taste test. I love a lot of sauce on my noodles, and I don't think I put enough sauce. Mmm. Yep. People, it's good. And don't forget, whenever you're cooking, whatever your preference is, if you like more garlic, if you like more salt and pepper, more tomatoes, do whatever you want. Cooking is fun and it's exciting. And one thing that I can tell you about being vegan, um, it is not all the things that you can not eat. It's all the things that you can eat. And so just take your regular recipes and make them your own. Make them, make them vegan. Veganize them. You can, you can do it with almost anything. And there's so many products out there now that you can buy and use as alternatives for meats, alternatives for cheese, you're not going to lack in anything. So think about it because going plant-based is one of the best things that you can do for your body. I promise. And no, I'm not a nutritionist. I've done a lot of research. I have read a lot of books. I have watched a lot of documentaries. And I, also, I'm 53 years old. Give me some credit for uh, life experience. So... Thank you again for joining me. I really do appreciate the fact that you watch. And again, subscribe, like, share, all of those things that YouTubers tell you to do or ask you to do. But seriously, please leave comments below if there's any recipes that you would like to see veganized or maybe vegan recipes that you want to try but don't buy, want to buy the products for. And I'll give you an honest opinion on whatever recipes that you put forth. So thank you again for joining me. I have enjoyed this and take care. Again, remember, if you're not participating in the parade, you're only watching. So be a participant. Do YouTube videos if you want to. Get involved in your community. Whatever your dream is, go for that dream. You can achieve whatever you want. As long as you stick to it, you're consistent and we're going to watch this happen. So for me. So thanks again for watching. Again, leave me your comments and take care. Bye.